Hey guys, my name is Brian and I am going to create this tutorial video to help you guys connect your PlayStation 4 controllers to Project 64 or a Nintendo 64 emulator. So you're going to need two programs for this. Obviously you're going to need Project 64. Uh, I would hope you have that downloaded. If you don't, I will have that link in the description. The first thing you are going to need is, and really the only thing you're going to need, is a program called DS4 Windows. You can literally Google DS4 Windows, caps, not caps. Um, it's the first link you get. Download now. Uh, you're going to click on this zip folder. Whenever it downloads, you're going to have it. You're going to have it download, and it's going to be if you open it, Windows and Updater. Only worry about running Windows. Like just run it. It will download. After it downloads, you should have a uh, icon on your desktop right here called DS4 Windows. So now what you're going to do. First of all, you're going to open DS4 Windows. You need to make sure that your controller is connected. Next, you're going to go into Project 64. Now, when you first download Project 64, there is, and if it's the latest version, there's already a plugin for a controller. And it should be called Enrage for PJ64 2.5.2.202. Now, I'm sure this probably changed. It's probably been updated by the time you're watching this if this video is three years later. So what we're going to do, there's no other plugins you need to worry about downloading. You just need to worry about this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into options. You should see configure graphics plugin, audio plugin, and controller plugin. You're going to click on controller plugin. This should bring up this menu. So now what you're going to do is it really doesn't matter which controller you use, but when you first log put into the controller, you will see this. There will be no, it will be this straight config all these digital pads you should be able to oh, you can't even do that so what you're going to do is you're going to click on this button x input so you're going to click on this as soon as you do this it will map everything you do to an xbox controller so basically what you're doing is you're mapping nintendo 64 controller controls to an xbox 360 controller if it was mapped out as a playstation 4 controller so if you guys want you can use these controls which are already on your screen. You can copy these controls. These are completely custom. You can do whatever you want to them, but they will work in game. The only issue with this that I have found is there's no way to get the D-pad to work, but your left analog stick will work. Your right analog stick will work. Start will work. Uh, X and square, which is what I have them set to will work. Your left trigger, all that stuff will work. Unfortunately, your D-pad will not. Now this next thing is very important because I accidentally deleted my controls like four times. Before you hit this save button down here, you need to hit this one. I don't know what it is. If you just hit this one, for me, it did not save. So you're going to want to hit this one, and then you're going to hit save. And then you should be good to boot into any game you want. All right, so as you guys can see, now that we are in the game, we are moving our left analog stick, which is letting us go wherever we want. Uh, jump is, is X, and melee is that, and crouch is L2. So you can set whatever controls you want. Unfortunately, the D-pad uh, does not work. I don't know why I haven't found a way to fix it, but this is a way that allows you to play because there's so many other issues with so many different plugins. So I hope this video was helpful and have fun.